Hey makers and welcome to another episode. I hope you're doing fine. So this is my DIY CNC machine, like the version that I first started with then I kept upgrading it. So this was my starting point and don't don't let the starting points like discourage you. This thing it works like a charm, but it has some problems which we're gonna talk about in just a second. So first of all, all the files like the STL that you need to make this machine will be provided in the link in the description. So I put them in my Thingiverse account but um, uh, it's not gonna be like a full documentation. So I'm not gonna uh, like um, state what type of uh, screws you need. I'm actually still working on that. Those documentations and how to basically make the machine will be like um, posted like each week and I will have the documentation on my instructable page. So I will start with the base, then the frame and the, all, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so it's probably gonna take around five to six short videos to make the whole assembly. And of course, I will be providing all the links like um, for things that uh, I think they are helpful. Anyway, so um, let's talk a bit about this CNC machine, like the things that I've done. So first of all, this thing used 12 millimeter rods instead of the uh, original design that used eight millimeter. Now, a friend of mine who's an electric engineer, uh, a, a mechanical engineer starting, uh, ah, damn, a mechanical engineering student. Yeah, that right. So he actually said that me choosing eight mil 12 millimeters instead of eight millimeters, I actually beefy the uh, the resistance of these rods to flex to to uh, to flexing to around 16 times or 12 times. I know, uh, or yeah, it's like. Uh, the difference to the power of two. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like a huge um, improvement um, compared to the eight millimeter design. So yeah, so some of the things that I had to change were, of course, the bearing holders since they used to be eight, now they're twelve, and this whole thingy right here, like the motor uh, carriage and the X carriage. So. First of all, the X-Carriage is actually not my design. So someone, a YouTuber, I will put the link of this channel in the description. He actually made a CNC that is called the Dremel CNC. Now, uh, uh, if you are gonna ask me what's the best like approach, is it his CNC or mine? Well, I built my CNC machine to be like precise for uh, PCBs. Like I did not need it to be that big. Plus my goal was to make a desktop CNC machine that I can just basically put on my desktop. Well, on his uh, CNC, it's bigger and it uses Dremel. So that's where the name comes from, Dremel CNC machine. Yeah, whether you can make this or that design is actually, it's, it's all up to you. So uh, yeah, let's, let's keep talking about this thing. So this is fully 3D printed. Like the only thing that is not 3D printed is basically these. Now, first of all, if you have a look at this, this this is bigger than the SK 12 millimeters, like the aluminium block that you can buy. And the reason for that is if I'm going to make it like as short, this base as short as the original design, this base will actually hit the motor uh, support. And what's going to happen is I will have a shorter like way uh, y axis distance like uh, i will have to sacrifice like around three centimeters or something of distance I'm, i mean this thing is already small so every centimeter uh, counts now that's why i made these um like 3d printed and custom now on the on the other hand, on this X uh, axis, I highly advise you that you buy the aluminium parts. Here's the thing, like this part right here will have a lot of forces, uh, like um, he, he will have, it's the motor here will cut material. So there is a lot of like resistive force. And what's gonna happen is all that force will be concentrated on the 3D print parts. I mean, in case you plan it to 3D print them. And what's gonna happen is they will snap. Like the last thing you want is the the whole X carriage like uh, falling apart just because the uh, one of the three different parts are decide to break. So I highly advise you that you make these like aluminium. They are they are fairly cheap. So get four of them and you will save yourself the the hassle of you know going out and finding that your your CNC like broke to pieces. Now I had to 
redesign the uh, the motor holder like for the 775 motor and that's that's basically the things that i've done well um i changed this like in the original design this one used m4 screws now it used m5 and one of the things that i highly advise you is to like save this as dxf and cut it like using um using um cnc or something here's the thing this is how it was originally looks like so this was the original thing now at first i decided to um to cut the these using acrylic then i noticed that when i screw the acrylic it's uh, it started to crack like i have a crack in the middle of here and that's that's defining the point of them like adding strength to the uh, whole assembly so what i've done is i made it beefier i added more holes so it can both support like so this this tower here will be both screw it like from here and here to 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 remove any chances of this uh, moving uh, forward and backward and i made this out of plywood like that's you know that's like the uh, in the upgraded version but you can just make this out of any like mdf yeah you can you can definitely cut this out of mdf probably start with something small and use your cnc to cut these out of mdf like i've done so first you can just use uh, use the original like i will leave a link in the description to the uh, to the link that i've used to get all these um these brackets you can 3d print them but um don't don't count on them too much like if if you if that's your only choice print them and then use the, your machine to basically buff itself up like you can use your machine to upgrade your your machine basically that's 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 the point like open source to its finest yeah so uh, i will be leaving an stl files now i wish to leave a step file but uh my program keeps crashing whenever i try to save this as a step i absolutely have no idea why so i'll be leaving like a stl files to all the things that i've changed and one thing that um i need to mention here is like i will have like i will have the dimensions of uh these um of these aluminium extrusion the dimensions of the rods but that's it i'm not gonna go into details like the screws needed or something that's because yeah i'm planning to make like separate videos on how to assemble the cnc machine and i will be putting on my instructable uh account like uh the uh, the document like the screw sizes screw types and how to assemble everything so those will be like put on youtube and my instagram my my uh, instructable account like step by step so yeah i don't have that much free time to just make a whole long like how to make a cnc and yeah 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 i should probably stop talking right now probably most of you are gone right now since <laughs> my youtube said like said most people only watch two minutes so i'm probably talking to myself right now if you still watching um thank you very much now i will remove this and yeah so uh, thank you for watching and if you have any recommendations on things that i can add to the cnc machine to beef it up um please do and if you're not following me on instagram account and my facebook page i will put them on screen so yeah so uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you soon bye bye